As an occupational therapist, parents often ask me what they can do to help their baby learn to roll from their back to their tummy. In this video, you're going to learn what age you can start to expect your baby to roll from their back onto their tummy, and most importantly, four simple activities that you can do with your baby right now, which is going to help develop those muscles required to roll and also the skill itself of rolling. So make sure you stick around. Before we get into it, make sure you click on that free PDF document in the description box below which covers the developmental milestones you can be expecting in your baby's first year of life. This will give you an invaluable peace of mind as you'll know what to be expect and when to be concerned. Also, if you want to make parenting significantly easier, make sure you start now by subscribing to my channel where I'll share with you the tips and tricks I've learned along the way practicing as a paediatric occupational therapist for the past 10 years. So firstly, when do babies start to learn to roll from their back to their tummy? Now you can expect this skill to start to develop at around four to seven months of age. Now when your baby's learning to roll from their back onto their tummy, there's a natural progression they'll go through. So initially your baby will start to hold their head in midline, which happens around three months, and then they'll start to track a toy. So they'll track the toy using their eye and head movement. So they'll start to follow the toy with their head. As their body gets stronger, when they follow the toy with their head, their shoulders will start to lift and rotate off the ground. And then as they get stronger still, they'll follow the toy with their head, their shoulder and their hips will start to rotate and lift off the ground. And then they'll start to go into side lying. When they're in side lying, they might stay in this position and kind of play and then roll back onto their back or they'll stay in this position and gravity will kind of assist them to roll completely onto their tummy or they'll develop the muscle control and strength to complete that final movement and roll onto their tummy. So that's the natural progression of developing the skill to roll from your back onto your tummy. Now what four activities can you do to help your baby learn this skill? The very first activity you can do with your baby, which not a lot of parents are aware of, is that you can actually assist your baby to roll over from their back onto their tummy. And you can do this at a really young age. I would do this with my children at around two weeks of age. They weren't born prematurely and there were no medical complications. So if that is the case with your little bub, make sure you check with your physiotherapist or the pediatrician first. But if they're all fine in regards to medical development, then you could start assisting them to roll onto their tummy. Now why you would do that is that it helps your baby learn that motor pattern which is required to roll over. And it essentially makes that movement not so scary for your baby. If you're going to help a baby roll from their back through their left side onto their tummy, how you would do that is that you would grab their left leg and hold gently and hold it straight. And then with your other hand, you would place it on their right hip and then you would gently guide that right hip so that it goes over the top of the left leg and then over onto the ground so that they're rolled onto their tummy. Once they're in that position, you then might need to reposition their hand because it often gets caught underneath their tummy. As your baby gets stronger and can start to participate actively in rolling from their back to their tummy is you would slightly grade that activity. So when, they're, when you're rolling them from their back onto their tummy, and again, let's use the example of rolling through the left side onto their tummy, what you would do is grab their leg gently and gently straighten that left leg. Then use your other hand to grab their hip and then you would gently raise that hip off the ground and you might bring them into side lying, which is when they're lying on their side and then you might stop there. You would wait and see if the baby would complete the rest of the roll. If not, I would gently provide support to that hip so I might start poking <laughs> the hip so that they will start to kind of tip over and then they'll participate in that role. But as they get stronger and stronger and stronger, they'll start to actively engage in that role and they'll start to move through that movement for you. Now, I would recommend doing that assisted role with your baby for a few reasons. And that, as I mentioned before, is to help them get familiar with that motor pattern required to roll from your back to your tummy. But the other thing is it gives them lots of opportunity to practice that movement. And although your baby might not yet be able to roll independently from their back to their tummy, they might have the ability to do part of the movement. So helping them and assisting them to roll over means that they can practice that part and strengthen those muscles. 
Now the second thing you can do to teach your baby to roll over is use a motivating toy to encourage them to roll over. Now what's really important is the positioning of this toy. So as I said right at the beginning, learning to roll from your back to tummy is all about following that head movement. So when you're holding a toy, and I would say at around um, the four month mark with your baby, I would hold it directly above their body in the middle of their body and I would shake that toy or I'd make a noise with that toy so that the baby is then looking at the toy. Once they're looking at the toy, you then move the toy directly across past their eyes and to the side what you want to do is as you're putting it to the side, you want to raise it up so it's above their shoulder. And what that does is that when they look up at the toy, it helps to promote that lifting of the shoulder off the ground and then the whole trunk rotation which is required to roll over. Now the third activity you can do with your baby which is going to work on developing those underlying muscles that are required to roll from their back to their tummy is encourage lots and lots of tummy time. Now I know we go on about it all the time and that's because it's so important in learning to roll, sit up and walk and stand and all those gross motor activities. What tummy time does is provide an opportunity for your baby to work on that neck control and head control and shoulder stability and strength as well as that back, the strength of those back muscles which are all required for rolling. Tummy time is a really difficult activity for your little one. Make sure you check out my video on tummy time where I cover four different tummy time positions and how you can make it easier so your baby's going to enjoy it at first and then we can make it harder as they get stronger. And the fourth activity which you can do with your baby which is going to work on the underlying muscles required to roll is encourage lots and lots of play when they're lying on the ground on their back. Now, you can make it a bit more enjoyable for babies by doing this play underneath the play gym because it essentially entertains the baby and also encourages them to reach out and engage with the toys. What's great about when um, this activity, so when they're lying on their back and playing, is that they start to kick their legs which essentially activates their tummy muscles and makes, provides an opportunity to work on um, making those muscles stronger. So we know that tummy muscles are required to roll from your back to your tummy. So this is another great activity that you can do with your baby. So those are the four activities that you can do with your baby right now to work on the underlying muscles required to roll from your back to your front and also how to teach them to roll from their back to the front. Make sure you click on that free PDF document in the description box below and subscribe to this channel if you want to make parenting significantly easier and hopefully I'll see you next week where I'll share more parenting tips and tricks.